up. Mm -hmm. Hi, and welcome to our channel. Last week, we started fixing our digger. When I say we, I mean Luke and Ashley. And it wasn't going quite so well. So I turned the key. Basically. Do you want to step back just in case it explodes? No. Let's hope they can solve this problem and finally get the digger going. Early coil out. Exhaust coming off again. <laughs> Taking it all apart again. <laughs> I'm laughing, but it's not funny. <laughs> But whatever it's doing, where the battery seems to be flat, it was doing it before the engine actually blew up when I first bought it four years ago. So yeah. we're still with the deja vu same problem. We'll have pretty to separate much. some of the issues to see. Yeah, just to start diagnosis. Yeah, start uh, taking off, eliminating, eliminating some of the questions. Eh? Yeah, exhaust off. So that's a tandem hydraulic pump over here. And then you have another single one here. So we're gonna take those off and somehow block them, eh? Taking the pipe out of the bottom of the tank as well. Hydraulic pumps are out. We made a little sheet metal thing so we minimized the amount of engine oil to come out and bolted it to it. We're gonna try it and see what happens. It did turn normal. That is a lot better. Yes. Do you want to put the exhaust on? Shall we? So what's stopping it from starting right now? Probably need an injected diesel up. To prime the diesel, so so that's what you're doing. Is you're going. Shall we try to do it anyway, or it's just leaking the primer? Oh, I, don't, I think the primer is just going to be trouble because you may be pumping bubbles. That turned well just now. Oh, that sounded. So it's something with the hydraulics. Yeah, could be. Must be. Probably. <laughs> but I would like to have it started. If I'd I like to start the engine. Yeah. Get it started and running for ten minutes or something like that. And then we'll see what we're doing with hydraulics. Okay. I saw smoke. She's getting diesel. Okay. Smoke is diesel. Yep, it's burning, eh? The thing is, look, you see if there's some sign that she's started, and you think, yeah, she's started. If that oil light's on, switch her straight off again. Okay. That light should be out. Ready? Right. the most noise you've gotten out of it. Yeah, we have the hydraulic pumps disconnected. So that means that it has a problem. Oh. But now we're trying to do isolate the problem to the engine to get the that's engine going yeah. to know if that's good. Wow. T <laughs> nearly, eh? Give the nearly. start, the start. Thank you, Ashley, for coming. Tea time. Wow. Hey, 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 it's not going yet. See the amount of smoke. Yeah. That is incomplete burnt diesel. So I think we're injecting plenty of diesel. So it's the heat. I think it's not getting quite enough heat to get it to ignite. I think if she was hot as an engine, if she was hot, she'd probably go. Blowtorch. <laughs> okay, a new day. Hopefully not new problems. <laughs> we just come back from shopping. We bought a new primer for the diesel and some other bits and pieces we needed. 
We've got a gauge for the hydraulic oil, so then hopefully once we get the engine started we can figure out what's wrong with the hydraulics and why it's pulling such a load and not allowing the battery to power the starter once the hydraulic pumps are hooked up. Um, so now we are ready to turn the key and just make sure that diesel is getting to all the right places. And then we have another problem with the heat plugs, but I'll talk about that later. We also got a new bulb for the oil light. So we'll put that in first. That's the ignition reconnected. And we'll put that in like so. These people with small hands. Ready? <laughs> 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 uh-huh. Okay, I put the throttle further down. <laughs> so it started, but why did we turn it off? Because I need to tighten these. Oh, okay. I thought something was going to blow up. Well, it started. Well, what was your oil light? That, that's what, good, no? That's I that, don't know. I was oh, too panicked. Good. That is that. Is I was good. too panicked to even look at lights. I'm sorry. <laughs> right. We want to just check a couple of them. Okay, so that uh, MacGyver fix going from the plug to the battery worked. Yeah, heat plug. I, I give it a wee bit in the middle of that process. <laughs> I saw you. Woohoo! Step one, engine started. Tappets. Yep. The valve. So I've got all the hydraulic piping back into place and even the exhaust and everything. So I'm going to fill it back up with hydraulic oil and see what happens. Most probably when we turn the key it's going to sound like a flat battery because we do have a problem. Now that we know the engine is good we have a problem with the hydraulic system. So we bought a gauge over here and connected up to, to one of the hydraulic pumps so we can see what's going on. Let's do this. Okay, engine oil light is on, everything is on. Ignition light is on, yep, both yep. lights are on. Okay. Here we go. I don't want to run her very long with those pumps not pumping if they're not getting oil. Engine is starting, which is awesome, but the hydraulic pumps don't seem to be working now, so we're trying to pressurize the hydraulic oil tank to push the oil into the pumps. We don't know why, just trying to figure it out. I mean, it's, uh, well, I think we'll start her and then we'll give this a jag with an air okay. compressor and see if that's enough. Right, so. I'll count to ten and yep. then you go. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> Ok, 
Okay, still hydraulic pumps are giving us grief. Um, so the engine does need setting, the valve tappets need to be set. So we bought this nifty little tool, a feeler gauge, to do that. So he's going to open the engine, so then we're more comfortable in putting it full throttle to try and pump that hydraulic liquid with those pumps into the system. So this may take a while, apparently. And I have a tool I never knew existed. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, my apprenticeship is going, <laughs> going on in leaps and bounds. Rocker cover off. That's the rockers. See that's huge. Okay, removing the heater plugs to remove compression from the engine. Right, I'll do the feeler gauge and the screwdriver, uh -huh. and then you. Open that. Okay, this and way, then, and then relock it. Okay. Or you can put use the ring spanner. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Not too bad will do, right? For now, this one is awful. That one, I think, I mean, that one was so bad it could be making all the noise. If we're running that and warming her up, we're maybe setting those pumps not getting oil. While the boys deal with that problem, there are a few much needed things to be done on the farm this week. One, hoof trimming. That's always a job I really don't like because I never had the proper tool. We had both trimming shears that are way too hard to close, so it's really hard when you're struggling with a goat. But thanks to Sylvia, thank you so much again, and for your package that you just sent us, thank you so much. She sent these scissors and they are absolutely perfect for the job. And finally, I harvested the worm castings from our worm bin. So the worms have nice new bedding and delicious food to eat, and I have good stuff for the garden. I am keeping the update short and sweet today, but I'm gonna take the goats home, and I'm gonna go and see what the boys are up to.
alive! She's alive! That is the ram, the blade. She shouldn't be stalling like that. She's getting virtually no oil. Right, well that's all that pump's doing. It's not doing your tracks and it's not doing the main digging. The tracks as well? No, it's not doing your tracks. No. Um, it's just the blade and the extra service, right? Yes. Okay, so the hydraulic seems to be working very little as you saw just saw, but we figured it needs more hydraulic oil. It was quite low. So I just spent my monthly food budget on hydraulic oil, 60 litres of it. So we're going to fill her up and see what happens then. <sighs> yeah. In it goes. 95 euros. Off the can. Looks thinner. Yeah, it makes it. Full of hydraulic oil. Attempt 6,000. <laughs> Ba, 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 ba. What do you think, guys? How cool does it look? Look, working, eh? <laughs> man, oh man, I can't believe we actually moved it. Now, I could use it like this, but once we're in it, we might as well fix the huge problem that we have with the hydraulics. Now, in the middle of that, underneath, there's this thing called the swivel joint and the seals have gone basically. There's seven stepper seals, there's a couple of O-rings, it's spewing oil out of there, there's so much muck. If we had to try and, we could use it, but we'd be losing so much hydraulic oil and it's like five euros a litre, doesn't make sense. Once we're in this far and it's all partly taken apart, 
We even pulled out the seat here, which I have to get reupholstered, upholstered, and maybe get a seat belt so I don't fall out when it does work. Um, so we're gonna have to pull that out, the swivel joint, and it is really complicated. It's like under all these hydraulic pipes. It's gonna be a full day's work to get it out, a full day's work to replace the seals inside, and then a full day's work to put it back in. And obviously I have to find the seals, so I'm hoping to message my mate Max in Malta, who's been supplying me with parts for it throughout this past year. So, Max, thank you very much. I couldn't have done this without you. You have no idea how appreciative we are, really. I do still have to order the parts, the seals themselves. So I think Ash, once we get it out, Ash will be going back home and then it'll come back out when I actually get the replacement parts. Once I'm thanking people, I can't end this video without thanking Saint Nick from Project Portugal for putting the engine together, for rebuilding it. You did an amazing job. I love, love, love your work, Nick. You are awesome. I just love the way, same as Ashley, how you guys think, like all this, it's just so logical. Obviously you have to have the knowledge to back that up, but I just love watching both of you work. Ashley, I'm going to keep thanking you every video because what you're doing is absolutely amazing. Uh, make sure you tune in next week where we hopefully get that swivel joint out of this digger who has no name yet. Well, we did say we won't name her until she's working and she's kind of working, right guys? So I think we're going to call her Constance. Her name is Constance. Uh, we were talking about it over dinner with Ashley. We just mentioned that we haven't had a name for her and he just said Constance. So I think after all the work he's put in, he deserves the right to name her. So Constance it is. She's a bit still damaged, but she'll be okay. <laughs> so make sure you tune in next week, unless you're a patron. If you're a patron, you can head on down to Patreon and see next week's video right now. Bye guys, thanks for watching.